What started as a big dream in 2004 has progressed into a huge construction project in the southern part of Charlotte County called Babcock Ranch. The construction is just the beginning of what will be a town of 50,000 people and over 19,000 homes. I think it's a good sized town. You know, there's, when, you, when you, you compare it to other places around the country, it's, it's a good sized town. Sid Kitson is the man behind Babcock Ranch. He fell in love with Charlotte County during his first visit in 2004 and decided to purchase the huge ranch. But it all came together in the summer of 2006. We purchased the 91,000 acre Babcock Ranch. By the way, that's 143 square miles or an area five times the size of the island of Manhattan. And then on the same day, we sold 73,000 acres to the state of Florida and Lee County and the largest land purchase in the history of the state and it still is today. Kitson's goal for Babcock Ranch is to build a sustainable town from the ground up. 90% of Babcock is on land that was already impacted by pasture, farm, and rock mines. Kitson has also taken steps to help restore the land to its natural state by adding a weir designed to rehydrate the land. It's a move heralded by the director of Audubon, Florida, Eric Draper. Someone asked me one time, said, well, what's the best way to store water? And they were saying, you know, do you build reservoirs or... No, the best way to store water is to, is to reclaim the swamps. I mean, this is nature's way of holding on to water. And that's what we're looking at right now. And that's why you see the response of the grasses and the uh, alligator weed and the other, um, the other native plants here. Draper says Kitson gave up development rights on the majority of his land in exchange for the right to develop Babcock Ranch on a concentrated 17,000 acres. Draper calls it a win-win. It was that strategy of entitling new development by preserving other land that could have been developed that, that resulted in the right kind of economic deal. So it sure still took $300 million of state funds to help to preserve the land, but $300 million rather than $600 million, and that extra $600 million of value came from the establishment of the new town. I mean, that was the, that, that the trade-off. And any more in Florida, we're finding ourselves, we either, we either figure out how to get with the larger landowners and make those kind of arrangements to trade off conservation lands in exchange for development rights, or we end up having it developed in very loose, sprawled ways with, with fewer houses per acre, um, more density, uh, transportation problems, all sorts of things, environmental problems. If you can get one landowner to concentrate the development on one site, uh, you can control the stormwater, control the wastewater, and you can afford to make sure that there's a lot of green space around it, which is part of what's happening out here. Much of the green space and all of the landscaping will be irrigated with reclaimed water from Babcock Ranch's own wastewater treatment plant. Another of Kitson's goals is to have the town powered entirely by the sun. In order to accomplish this, Kitson donated 440 acres of land to Florida Power and Light, and the electric company agreed to install a solar energy center capable of producing 74 megawatts of electricity a year. This is the equivalent of 20 to 22,000 homes, depending upon the home size, but in, in that magnitude. Which Johnny Lynch is a senior construction manager for Florida Power and Light. Even though he oversees the installation of solar energy centers like this one at Babcock Ranch, he says he's still impressed by the size and magnitude of the solar farm. It's, it's pretty overwhelming when you when you get out here and you take a look at, at the amount of construction that's going on and the, uh, the safety and the, the different things we have to do to, to get this done. To get it done means installing 340,000 solar panels in rows about a quarter mile long. As you can see here, some of these piles that we have in the background, uh, there's about 40 to 42,000 piles. Uh, 6,000 racking systems go on those and that holds about 340 uh, thousand uh, solar panels. It'll be generating electricity and it'll be feeding homes and businesses throughout southwest Florida and as Babcock Ranch comes on because those buildings are closer it will draw more power from the solar facility as it produces excess power that'll also go on the grid. Florida so Power and Lights president and CEO Eric Solagi says the solar panels at Babcock Ranch will produce enough electricity to power all of Babcock Ranch with energy left over. While residents of Babcock Ranch will not get free electricity, Salaji says the environment is the real winner. What it does is, again, doesn't impact customers' bills, but it produces emission-free, water-free, from a usage standpoint, electricity. And it also demonstrates to the world on how Southwest Florida, how Florida as a state, how FPL as a company, how Babcock Ranch are really doing things that others said couldn't be done. 
For Kitson, it's important for his development to incorporate sustainable practices like using reclaimed water and solar energy, but equally important to Kitson is the ability to connect with nature. Every home in Babcock Ranch will have access to over 50 miles of nature trails, all of which will be open to the public. The things that I like about what we're creating here is the ability to go out and, and be a part of nature and be, and be able to hike and not drive, you know, five, ten miles to get there. And the trail systems here are spectacular. So just knowing that I can go out and decompress and, go out and be part of uh, this great landscape is going to be very, very gratifying for me. Kitson's enthusiasm for Babcock Ranch is contagious, but he says his dream would not have come into fruition without the hard work and cooperation of Charlotte County officials. Charlotte County has been remarkable to work with. They view us as partners and they have stepped up and said, how can we do this great? How can we make Babcock just absolutely fantastic? And you know, they, they do their job, they make sure we do it the right way, but at the same time, they want they truly want this to be special. And I gotta tell you, it's very unique, very unique. From a unique dream to unique relationships, joining forces to create a unique development right here in Charlotte County. Reporting for CCTV, I'm Todd Dunn.